All right, sneaking in a little Camel GT practice. This week is a 60 minute race, so I've got to figure out my fuel uh, calculation for the pit stop. I also adjusted my overclock last night, so I'm doing this stream sort of as a test as well. Just to make sure everything is good there. Clock's not looking too good right now. Huh, well, we'll see what happens. It passed the 45 minute stress test and Cinebench score went up by a few points, so. I just don't understand what these gray bars are. Dave. Anything you can do in VR about the last corner? Hang on one sec. 
Alexa. Never mind. Blew the corner anyway. <laughs> They um, say you cut the course. You'll well, have to slow down having, and give up uh, the time game. What are you having an issue with? Always uh, just frame rate drop uh, to the last corner. Uh, what CPU and GPU do you have? Uh, I got a i5, uh, not the latest generation, but the uh, unlocked uh, previous generation. And... Uh, uh, water cool 1080 Ti. Yeah, whoa. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't be having any issues. What's your, um, what do you have the, like, the PPD set at in that any file? Uh, what, what setting was that? Uh, the render dx.ini file that you can set like the pixel pixels per display gotcha uh from what i can recall it's it's pretty low it's nothing crazy like maybe like 120 something around that yeah i um i would drop it to 100 that's what i run and i've got a 7700k and it's at 4.6 uh gigahertz overclocked and I have a 1070, and I've got a pretty decent overclock on it, and I run somewhat decent graphics settings, and I'm 90 solid. I just have some, like, gray bars that go maybe halfway across the, uh, like, the render and the RNG meter. But I never, I never dip frames, no. Yeah, I don't know, for as long as I can remember. Uh, ever since, like, I think, like, two years ago, first got VR, always Imola, last corner. Like, now it's, it's, it's completely drivable. It's really just, like, kind of like a luxury at this point. But, you know, like, water-cooled 1080 Ti, you're like, what the fuck? Do you have it overclocked? Do you overclock your card at all? No. Yeah, you should do that. Um, you should uh, just grab like MSI Afterburner. Um, it's free download, and then you can set an overclock there with a fan profile. Even on a water cooled, you can control the fan. Huh? I guess I'll take a look at that. Here, go into your um, go into your garage uh, settings. Do you want to go over to Discord for chat, so we don't bother uh, everyone here? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, just use the uh, camel one in uh, Sim Sport News. And uh, go to your graphics options in Sim. I'll walk you through what I have. Okay. The Charlotte Lovers Club. Hey there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Let me just get my uh, get my Oculus back on. Sure.
Okay. Did you uh, open your graphics uh, options? Uh, yep. Okay. All right. So I'll just read off what I have, um, and I'm on a hundred PPD. So uh, cars, I have medium. Okay. Uh, pit objects, I have off. Okay. All right. Event low. Grandstands low. Crowds low. I have objects at high. Particles at high with both full res and soft checked. Hmm. Yeah, can't can't help but love that immersion. <laughs> Max cars I set to eighteen. Uh, what about headlights? Headlights on track and mirrors. Um, there's like underneath like particles, like you have a headlights like. Uh, level of detail. Oh yeah, mine set at high detail. I don't know high what detail, difference okay. that makes. Okay. And Max Car, you said 18. Yeah. All right. All right, and then on your uh, frame rate, I have limit to 100. Okay. The bat is at 80. Then max right. max pre rendered I have it two. All right. Uh, and and is up the filtering whatever that is I have it sixteen x. All right. Uh, AA I have it eight x. Okay. Uh, render dynamic track and render dynamic tire both checked. Okay. Shadow maps on cars and tracks. Okay. Uh, dynamic objects and filter checked. Okay. Uh, everything with night shadows is unchecked. Okay. So night shadows, walls, headlights. Unchecked. Yeah. Yeah. All unchecked. Okay. Uh, number of lights. I don't know what that means, but I have it at three. Okay. And then I have the uh, simple filter. Mm -hmm. uh, dynamic cube zero. Fixed cube zero. Shader okay. quality high. All right. Um, I don't use virtual mirror. I don't know how you do that. Immersion. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, guess uh, I just don't look back. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, unchecked higher detail in mirrors. Um. Cockpit mirrors, unchecked higher details, okay. What's that? Oh, I didn't have like a cockpit mirrors checked, but uh, I'm turning off virtual mirrors and turning on cockpit mirrors. You have uh, the max uh, uh, four? Yeah, four. Okay, and higher detail unchecked? Yep. And I have okay. headlights uh, checked. Okay. Far terrain and two past trees unchecked. Okay. Uh, Trilinear or whatever that is filtering uh, checked. Okay. All right. Uh, heat haze FXAA both unchecked. Okay. I uh, use sharpening, so try that and check it. Okay. Uh, bloom unchecked. Uh, video mem swap high res checked. Hmm. Okay. And uh, 2048 by 2048 checked. Okay. And like distortion and hide card numbers unchecked? Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple things that you should do in your any file, the render DX. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Your um, GPU video memory, what does it show? Like as, Like where's the slider and what's the number underneath it? Um, everything is like slid like all the way to the right, and uh, it says 6144 megabytes GPU bit of memory, current load 2013. Okay. And that's good. Yeah. Yep. And the one below it is uh, 8192 megabytes 
add Mac system memory to use, current load 3201. Okay. Okay, so you'll have to back out and then come back in for all those to... Oh, go to your replay and make sure oh. that um, you put shadow maps on track and cars. Uh, shadow maps on uh, tracks and cars, okay. Yep, and then I have dynamic and filter checked. Everything. For, uh, for replay, can I just like max everything out? Uh, that you'll probably it'll probably be choppy as as hell. <laughs> like, uh, even while while just like driving. Uh, no, just when you like escape and it's shown a replay. Gotcha. Okay. So. And so shadow maps, uh, tracks and cars, and you mentioned something else. Uh, yeah, dynamic and filter both checked. Okay. Uh, night shadow and everything associated all unchecked. Okay. Then light number of lights three, simple filter. Okay. And zero zero below that. Uh -huh. And then basically, and yeah, pretty much everything on the other side the same as before. Um, okay. You know, higher detail unchecked, uh, far terrain unchecked. Okay. Trilinear checked and sharpening checked. Trilinear checked and sharpening checked. Okay. Yep. So what you should do when you escape out of this to mm -hmm. reload, pull up your yeah. pull up your render dot any file. Render okay. D, render dx dot any. I think there's two, so make sure you pick the dx one. Uh, the erasing. Uh, render dx eleven. Yep. And okay. What's your? Do you have a rift or do you use a different headset? A uh, rift. Okay, good. So once that opens up, you'll, you open it with uh, like Notepad. Uh huh. And scroll down till you find Oculus, and then when you see like pixels per display, just change that to a hundred. Yeah, it looks like it's already at a hundred. Oh, it is. Okay, good. And uh, okay. Um, trying to think. Yeah, that's all you have to change there. So just if it's at a hundred, then you're good. Okay. Should be good. Mm. You'd imagine with this graphics card. I think you need to overclock it though. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in front of a fan? Uh just like I have like a little fan like pointed at the Oculus. Oh, okay, yeah. It <laughs> now I know what you guys were going through. Oh, uh, oh with your mic? <laughs> yeah, I finally got it adjusted so it filters all that out. Nice. I mean, how loud is it? Uh little little loud. Huh. That's funny. How do you filter it out? Um, if you uh, go to Discord and in, like the settings, like the little gear wheel next to your name, uh huh, uh, pull that up and go to voice and video. Yep. And then scroll down, and you'll probably see like fil like filtering set to auto. Let's see, it's filtering, filtering, filtering. Uh, I see, like, attenuation when I speak, when others speak, uh, audio subsystem, voice diagnostic, debug logging. Yeah, uh, so you went to voice and video? Yeah. Okay, like, actually, like, scr actually scroll down, because there's, like, more below, like, the screen that pops up. Um... The only, the lowest thing I see is uh, debug logging and reset voice settings. There should be like a uh, like a little slide tab and then like a big slider that goes all the way across. Hello. Oh, the uh, attenuation. If that's what it is, or no, it should say something about noise cancellation. Does lower the volume of other applications to this percent? Here, hang on one sec. Let me pop my Oculus off. <laughs> All right. 
uh, echo cancellation, noise suppression. Yeah, the the only like, oh, automatically in determined input sensitivity. Yes, that one. So you wanna you wanna like move that switch so that it's not auto. Okay. And then just start sliding that slider to the right a little bit, and talk while you're doing it, and I can let you know when it's good. Uh, all right. I got the fan pointing at it. Uh, let me know. Yeah, I can still hear it. So keep sliding it to the right. Okay. Still going. Right there. So almost like pretty much max. That's per. Okay, that's actually perfect. <laughs> You there? I can't hear you. You may have gone too far. Hey Dave, you there? Okay, there you are. You, you can hear me? Yeah, but the wind noise is actually worse now. Yeah, when uh, when I finally, like, I can kind of see where the wind noise is getting to. Let me see. Right there. How about now? No? Yeah, no, it's still pretty bad. Now I don't hear it. No, now I hear it. Now I hear it a lot. <laughs> How about now? Hear me? Yeah. Uh, what's um like? What's your slider say? Go down to like a little past halfway. Way. Yeah, I don't know. That must be some kind of fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this really like clip on fan. Well, I think if you're yeah. using if you're using the Rift mic, it's probably just because it gets trapped under there and then like kind of rolls around right near the mic. Oh, so. yeah, that's a good point. Um, I guess let me switch. Let me try switching to the other mic. Okay. Yeah, you can do that, and I don't think yeah, you're gonna have to back out of this. Oh wait, it's actually it's using my other mic, the Steel Series mic. Shit. Um. Oh, well, there we go now. Is this, can you still hear it? Yeah, but not as bad. So let me. This should be able to pick up my voice a little better now, so I can crank it up. Uh, can you hear me? Yep, you were chopping out there a little bit, but I can hear you. How about now? Right now, it sounds perfect. And you can't hear the fan? Not at all. Only when nice. you chop, which is fine. Okay. Leave it at that. Okay, so you got your graphics thing all squared away. Yep. Let's give it a whirl, see if it actually did anything. Now, keep in mind, I'm on a 1070, but an i7. I mean, your graphics yeah. card should be killing mine, so... Yeah, but I'm like, I'm really uh, on the fence about upgrading the TPU. I would wait if you're thinking of like a 20 series. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely wait a little while on that. <laughs> um, uh, more, more so uh, that new i9. Yeah, it's very. Po Do you overclock your CPU at all? Yeah. What's that? Uh, what kind of like clock do you have on that? I think it's like 4.8. 
Oh, okay, so, yeah, you really shouldn't be bottlenecked there at all. What is it, a, um, a 7600? I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, you should be fine there. Um, but if you put a good overclock on your video card, too, um, that'll gain you a lot. And I can walk you through that if you want to grab um, MSI Afterburner. Yeah, probably, uh, it's really easy. Try to, like... Is yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, let's make some laps, see how your frames are now. Notice, uh, ready. Any noticeable frame drops yet? Looking good. That'd be much better. Yeah, if you had pit objects on and shadows on everything, that'll pretty much... I don't think there's any combination out there that can run everything, you know? Everything on max.
Westwood car on the right, go left. That's how you're supposed to take that corner, I think. <laughs> I feel like our pit stop is going to be a very long one for this race. Oh, this is a pit stop race? Yeah, it's a 60 minute this week. So I came out with a full tank, I've gone about 7 laps, and I've got 28 left. <laughs> so... Uh, you know, yeah. You've got a slow car on the left, go right. Um, so what do you usually do, 
150 or oh actually hang on I'm wrong on that because uh, I did a few laps and then stopped when we did your graphics so uh -huh. that's, that's not accurate <laughs> uh, no worries no Carl start that calculation here in a minute. Okay. Are you talking about like on virtual mirror? Yeah, if you prefer the virtual mirror, I would turn it on and see if that uh if that affects your frame right now. No the like the control for it. Oh no, you just go back into the graphics. Yeah. And just turn it on. You don't have to escape and come back in with that. It, once you turn it on, that's it. Okay. But what I will say is if you're going to use it, I would turn the cockpit mirrors off. I think you can have them both on, but that would seriously kill you. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like a one or the other kind of thing. Yeah, which... You know, like, I feel like I have my head in the right position and hey Lewis how you both doing? oh hey too bad some uh, Nissan test thing wait you're in the Nissan? yeah yeah where are nice. you? where are you? <laughs> I'm, actually, um, I'm actually loading up nice yeah let's see how uh upset they get with me coming in this late to work hey Lewis did you know David has a uh, water cool 1080 Ti and he does not overclock it I knew he had a water cool card I didn't realize you weren't overclocking it though yeah I forgot you need what to. was the reason <laughs> but it's like the whole reason I got the water cooled one uh, wasn't even a good reason like I, I think I fucked up the uh, the settings for VR and just assumed it was the uh, graphics card. Ah, uh, to be honest, it it makes very little to no difference in eye racing. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah, because I'm Cause on a I'm on a 1070 and 90 solid. But the settings I just put you on. <laughs> Let's yeah, see it, if, uh... it just doesn't use all of the CPU anyway. Of GPU anyway. Yeah, I noticed like a lot of people mentioning it uh, having a lot to do with the uh, CP bottleneck. Mm. Yeah, it's bad. I don't, I don't really get anything noticeable in the last corner now with the virtual mirror. But uh, I'm wondering if there's uh, any car in view in virtual mirror or in front of me if that would change that. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'd find a car to. Uh I would definitely do that, just get a, you know, drive around slow till someone comes up and you can check and see that. Alright. Yeah, the virtual mirror, I don't leave it on all the time, I just, if someone gets within half a second of me, I'll turn it on quickly. You can actually... Yeah, I noticed. How do you do that in car? I've got it mapped to a button. I didn't know you could I, even do that. Yeah, I think, like, like just for default from uh, iRacing, there's a keystroke for it. Yeah, it's near the bottom of the options, um, I think. Uh, oh no, it's the first box on the right, it's at the bottom of that box. Toggle virtual. But you you have to have virtual mirror uh, enabled in the configuration for that, right? Mirror to part. Yeah, I really don't mind uh, the Nissan with the sequential shifter. Yeah, once you get the timing down with it, it's it's fine. When I was I paddle was shifting it, it was it was difficult at times. I used to blow a lot of engines that way on downshifts. 
When my shifter was having issues, I went for a new one to come, I tried driving with the paddles and I found it so confusing. I've got a custom yeah. G25H pattern for you, Lewis. Oh, my, my shift is fine. <laughs> the one that's dissected with all the wires exposed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, I could shift so fast with the G25H pattern. I also, it's also liquid cool. <laughs> Nice. <coughs> uh, can't wait to see uh, how that $500 impulse buy I, uh, I made is actually going to turn out. What weight did he buy? Uh, my, my Fanatic shifter, like, cocked out in uh, H pattern mode and it only recognizes like two inputs, like one for the top row gears, one for the bottom, so been driving around this uh, sequential this whole time and uh, there's this Japanese company called uh, Rex, I think it is. Alright. Yeah, it's the craziest uh, five star craziest H pattern I've ever seen. Uh, the Frex one? Yeah. There's only one other that I've seen that's crazier than that. It's like four thousand dollars. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, the one with like an actual gearbox in it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah the one that uh, what's his name Barry tested. In, exactly. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That thing looks so sweet. He says, "I want it." I'm surprised there's not a direct drive motor attached to it to make it even more realistic. <laughs> well, uh. There actually is going to be a, a clutch uh, engagement for it. Um, that's actually going to uh, prevent you from uh, shifting. You, if, you uh, need that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For that sense of immersion. Need it. If you can also, if you can check. I looked um, on the phone the other day. I didn't see one. The one setup? Yeah, there, there is one for. Uh, uh, thread for this track. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't posted uh, in the first post, but I think t posted it. Oh, do, do, you uh, right. a, do you guys need a setup? I, I could do one. Here, I'll just I'll throw mine up there right now. Oh, thanks, dude. Which one are you using, John? Uh, Keith Ritchie's, and it's just adjusted for fu uh, full fuel and the usual damper adjustments that we do. Oh yeah, it's um, hour long race. Yeah. This is going to be weird. I think this is the longest I've gone without uh, not driving this car. It's true, it's been a while for you. Yeah. Oh no, when I went on holiday, it was a bit longer. Not by much, though. Joe's <laughs> in. Alright, so Lewis, you should have that. And. Ah, uh, thanks, dude. Dave, there you go. Is that that, like, 2018 season one? Uh, let me see. Yes, but it's uh, yeah. twe it's tweaked from there. So, all right, shot. Uh, I'm using some. It's not aggressive rear bias, but you may want to bump it forward a couple clicks just to start off with it. <coughs> Brake bias. That's all right. After uh, driving the Lotus for a while, I actually uh, prefer more aggressive rear bias now. Yeah, it helps a lot with turning in. <laughs> exactly. It feels so weird because um, I'm not I've not been on my rig for like a week now and I drove to Holland over the weekend so I've kind of got used to my real car's pedal from roll pedal. Things are for right now. Oh yeah, my the front pedal on my rig so light compared to my actual car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a full tank. Uh yeah, full tank. Wow, these curves aren't very nice. Some of them you can use a lot of, and some, if you even get near them, you're dead. Yep. Never been my favorite track. Yeah, I go through phases of liking it, and not liking it. It's got some cool corners. Talladega is my favorite track. <laughs> Charlotte's mine. It has so much character. Does it, does it have an infield? 
Uh, I don't know, actually. It probably does. You guys use the fist for the chicane. Uh, I don't think I have to go down the first. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, breaking. That corner before the last. So with the, uh, the like saving, um, what time are the, uh, weekday races for you, John? Uh, 10 p.m. Eastern tonight, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, and 12 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. I'm not going to be able to do the 4 p.m. one, but 10 p.m. tonight, just call out sick. <laughs> I'm actually saving all my uh, ETO for uh, December, getting a German Shepherd. And nice. Those dogs are like such uh, liabilities if you don't really get the bad patterns out early. <laughs> oh my god, the car's so good to drive. It is, isn't it? You know, uh, I, I didn't have a setup at first, and I was hating it. I was like <laughs> juggling the summit point setup and uh, Lockheed Glenn setup, and finally found the uh, Keith Richards setup, and things felt natural. Yeah. I don't understand how some people can be so freaking fast. I know exactly how to set the car up as well. It's all a waste of time anyway, baseline's the best setup. What was that? Yeah, so it's a waste of time, baseline's the best setup. It's just there's so much going on with the setups. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're up for next, right? It is, yeah. Okay. I'm almost there. Is there Indianapolis next week? And then the road, uh, road series is there the following week, which I think you can run. I can, yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. uh, I'm the fans legends or something just to get my SR up. Yeah, if you can get to see this week, that'd be awesome. You can run your Indy Fix next week. Yeah. I just attempted my uh, second oval race a couple days ago. Yeah, I struggled this week with Fontana in IndyCar. I finished my first one last night. Now I'm done with it. I hate that track. <laughs> it's so it's horrible. In fixed where you can't adjust anything, it's absolutely horrible. If there's a car a mile ahead of you, you get arrow push. Like it, it just will not turn. Yeah. I haven't tried uh, open wheel in uh, oval yet. It's fun at the right track, like Indy is great, uh -huh. and every other oval sucks. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Even a uh, Pocono? A I'm not a ride. fan. Go left. It's pretty hard at Pocono. I tried uh, the truck at Pocono, but I haven't tried uh, Indy. I'm trying to see you there. Yeah, it is. Oh, it isn't as easy as I thought it would be. What's, uh, what's that rookie series? For, uh, mobile? Uh, I think it's Legends. But the, not, not the Legend, the other one, like, our Street uh, Stock. Street Stock, I'd say. So far, I got, uh, 100%, uh, led all laps. Nice. <laughs> Out of two races, so I got two goals to win. It's not worth risking, yeah. Low 79 track record. What was that? It's not as good as my low 79 track record. <laughs> Never finished uh, the race. I think uh, your record will live in. Let's say you cut the course. Now nah, there's a. Uh, the yeah, there are some folks in that. Then again, that goes for all series. Or yeah. I, I've uh, I've been watching this one uh, a couple times that I. <laughs> That one GTP guy who's like a, always a, a danger, running so, so slow and uh, uh, having the GTOs catch up to them. Uh, what, what's uh -oh. his name? Jim. Jim. The Jim Henley? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Him and yeah, Riley are scary. best friends. What was that? Uh, him and Riley are best friends. <laughs> Riley loves Jim. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> Sarcastically. <laughs> Man, that, on, uh... Thanks for the faster lap than you. <laughs> you bumped me down to P4. No more setups for you. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh... That last Sebring race... Um... Those two uh, Audi guys, uh... Who was it? That... I think it was like that Tim dude? Or they got into like a huge like heated discussion. Uh, Tanner? Tanner, that's it. Tanner yeah. and uh... Stuff on it, like, right? Or no. Is it? I, I thought... It wasn't... Bravo. Was it? No, it was that it was fun. Oh, Nick. It was Nick. Ah, uh, yeah. Nick, Nick that's it, yeah. yeah. And, uh, is Tanner, like, how long has he been around in? Well, he's been around, around iRacing for a long time. But he's, he's, he always races with Matt Malone. Oh, does he really? Yeah. Those, uh, those big videos he's, like, posting evidence on, uh, Discord were, like, pretty unconvincing for, like, any any like serious uh, issue with uh, with Nick yeah I, I don't understand his deal like he blames Nick for just driving like slightly aggressive with yeah but he got hit from behind he's trying to that's gather it up and Tanner took it too wide I mean that, that, that's what I don't get like like uh, he fucked up like he, he made the biggest fuck up by like rear-ending Nick and then Trying to use that as a moment to like overtake him. That's a fucking dick move. Kind yeah, of. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, how can you just let that one glide and then focus on the other? Keep. He kept like brushing that one off, and it was like, dude, like that was like probably the biggest offense out of all these like incidents. Yeah. So, uh, but holy shit, uh, what an ego, man! It's like. Shit happened. Down. He's he's normally all right. He's an all right guy most of the time. Yeah, I think he cooled down or like an hour after it all. He apologized yeah. and all that. Yeah, it's just such, I don't know. It's like a shame because like for the most part, like all the camel guys. I mean, let's be honest. Like, how many times has like most people, you know, gone on to like fuck one another's races? It's like shit happened. Yeah, pretty much. 
I fight with Lewis all the time. I think yeah. Lewis is a dirty driver. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Lewis joined in uh, our factor server, and he told the other only other guy in there I was a dirty driver, and then I ended up hitting the guy by accident. Oh no. And then he types in the chat, I see what you mean about John Keefe. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty funny. How rare is that to just happen to stumble upon some other guy on our back there? Exactly. Or yeah. even get into a server. Yeah. Uh, Getting into the set is a real trick back right there. That, like, <clears throat> I swear if our factor would just get that right, you know, they would have at least, like, a few more people racing. Yeah. I signed up for the McLaren Shadow competition, couldn't get into the server, and it was hosted oh by them. My God. <laughs> it was hosted by oh, them. Wow. That is That's a... Boys, play. Don't want to piss off the yeah. Folks, that work too much. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see. If that race is at ten for you, John, it should be uh, seven for me. So uh, I'll see if I can try and make it. Yep, I'll be there. And uh, Bruce is posting faster lap times, so I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Okay, man. Later, David. Have a good one. Man, I hate these curves. I love those curves. <laughs> Is this your first time driving since you've been back? Or just first time yeah. in the sun? No, first time driving at all. It always feels good after a number of days away, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. This car feels so good. Oh my god. So bad. That guy from the IndyCar race is still arguing with me. Really? He yeah. What's to argue about? I don't know. It was for P13 on lap two. He, yeah. he wanted to get that close to me that it caused the net code. Is kind of what it looks like. Yeah. And he's telling me I can't hold the line. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't the one side drafting that guy on lap two for a I'm back marker to me to come out behind you to play with you. Play this thing. <laughs> yeah, I think there's only about five minutes left in this session. Yeah, there is. Got for me the red eye Whoa. Yeah, I'm only home on a lunch break, so I was just gonna get some practice in here. But I'd love to stay and do a few races, I just don't have time today. That's fair. I thought I'd pop over a few bits and just run some laps. It was fun, right? Anything. I, um, I did a race there yesterday, and I forgot to put fuel on it after Paul's point. Yeah, I saw you stream it that bit. Yeah, it was pretty fun though. I was you can pretty really loosen that car up. You, you can't make it quite good. Yeah, I'd like to try a few different setups on it, because I was just running a two baseline. And I have no idea what I'm doing with that car, so... 
I'll make a set with um, J one of Jacob's sort of bass lines out. Okay. Clear on the left. Slow car ahead. Car right. Clear on the right. <laughs> I thought for sure I would have gotten you there. It's almost like I saw it coming. Looks like your car is toast. You'll need a tow back to pit lane. Press and hold your reset button, and we'll come and get you. My spotter is really annoying. Even when you have it on like low chattiness, it's too much. Yeah. When the hell did I run a 133? I did thought I? I was hitting. Yeah, I was. I thought I was running 134s the entire session, but I've got a couple of 133s. Ah. Huh. And you technically have a 133, a uh, 0.999, I'm gonna... No, 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 it's a 132. <laughs> but it's 0 0.9999999. Yes, so still, it's, it's, still got a, it's still got a 2 in it, though. Yeah, but when you round it all up, it, it makes it a 133. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a minute left. So much point. Can I yeah. get? Yeah. So you're off to Formula Renault. Maybe. Yeah, it is fun. Uh, absolutely, totally worth. It's totally worth doing it. It seemed pretty clean, also. Yeah, I've done a couple of races, and they're they're pretty good. Yeah, it was my first one in that car, actually. I, nice. I bought it you when get... it came out and drove it like once, and I was like, eh. Star it's, Mazda. Um... <laughs> well, there's a couple of guys who turn up and they're really aggressive so all you gotta do is like recognize that they're the people and just avoid them and you'll be fine yeah he also tell me the names yeah oh no they just turn up they're like the people who 